everybody welcome back this is Gina I want to welcome all my new subscribers um, to my channel thank you guys so much for um, liking my channel enough that you're you're willing to subscribe to it I really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed I hope that you'll consider doing so and I hope that you'll also um, hit the thumbs up on this video so let's just jump in today um, and I'll show you what we're going to create I was in, I told you I recently picked up this little die. This is a Sizzix, and I'll put the little item number up there. So if you're interested in this, um, that is going to be in my um, description box below if you're interested. Now, you don't have to have these, but there are a couple of things um, you could use any shape, but these are the main reason I bought this. When I saw this, I knew immediately how I wanted to use these. So that's what we're going to be using today. And what I've created with them are these little tuck spots and altered paper clips so that you can clip them to your journal page. How cute is that? Or, if, if you leave it plain, you could just put a little line of glue there and glue that. And then you would have a tuck spot here and the little tuck spot there. Okay, so let's just jump in. And this is <coughs> a great way <coughs> to use up your scraps, you know, the little pieces of... Um, Scrapbooking papers, often, you know, we have extra bits of our digitals left over, but today the focus is going to be on book pages. So what you're going to want to do first of all, and I would suggest doing this in batches, is take, my papers are pretty thin but I love these because they've got natural aging on them. So I took three sheets of that, and one day I just got out my glue with a brush, painted over them, and I've done several in advance so that it just makes it easier. But I would just recommend just, you know, designate an hour, and you'll be surprised how many of these you can just get ready. Sit them to the side, let them dry, and then all you got to do then is just come back and cut out whatever shape you want. Now I've chosen to do this one in a, um, a heart shape, but we're also going to do one with the die cuts from that kit in this shape, and then I've also got one cut out with scrapbook paper so that you can see. Um, they're very similar, but they just have a completely different look to them. So I love this project. Um, so run that through your uh, Big Shot with whatever shape you want to do and then age it. And then I've just cut out <coughs> things and pulled papers from my scraps that I want to use. Um, it's nice to have some texture and you can get that using, you know, various dies in your um, stash. I've got the little Sizzix crochet, and that's in the description box below. Let me show you that one. Well, I've got the crocheted edges, and then I've also got these mixed media dies and they are beautiful to work with so <clears throat> if you want to have more texture you could do that you could also run that through the embossing machine and that's going to give it a nice texture but just bearing in mind you know most of it's going to get covered because you're going to you know layer up but so for this one I know <clears throat> I've got some extra um, scraps here from projects that I've done in the past I'll set those to the side so I'm just going to start <clears throat> by adhering these because I want to keep some of that font showing through, but I just I want to get a little bit of color back there. I'll just 
just age those as we go along. Oops. The other thing you could do if you want is uh, run us around them with your sewing machine if you want to have some stitching on there as well. I'm not going to do that today just because uh, for time's sake I want to get on with this. And this was just what I was saying about the little texture. That's just a piece um, that's an old die I purchased from Alley Express and uh, it's probably one that's going to be going in <clears throat> into a D stash very soon because I don't usually use it, but you can see how that's starting to build up some layers and interest on it. So I'm going to add, I think that one, that would look nice there. And then I can have a little bit of lace over here. So I'll just add, age that up quickly. <clears throat> so with these, um, make sure that you run the bead of glue around the, the very outside. That way you've got that little tuck spot that you can add something. Because when I first made it, I made the mistake of gluing this down, and uh, then I realized I was like, oh, I should <laughs> But hopefully you'll learn from my mistake. And yes, it looks like in 2020 I'm going to still be battling with the glue. Now, I went um, this morning to change, <clears throat> to change this because it's almost empty, and... I'm certain I bought a big bottle of that, but I haven't had the chance to um, to check my orders because I cannot find it. So I suspect I ordered it and it didn't come in. And, you know, with everything going on, I must have lost track of it. So I'm sorry, you're still going to have to see me battling with um, the glue. All right, so I've got that down. Um... The other thing I like is a bit of lace, <clears throat> and I've just pulled some stuff that from my stash. Don't stress about it too much. Just just something to add a little bit of interest. And of course, I like to have the buttons. So here's my little button jar. That's a pretty one. Oh, actually. Let me find a different one. So, let's see. Just gonna just pull on the edges along that to make it fray a little bit more. You don't have to add this. You could add other things if there's something that you prefer to the lace, but I, I just like it. I like it in my projects. And the other thing I'm going to do quickly Let me just put a little bit of um, this is that trim you know you can pick up at your craft store. I, I like to add that. It's just building some layers with whatever you got. The other thing that would be awesome with this is the little Tim Holtz um, 
wildflowers, and I might do that on one of those if I don't forget it. Yeah, in fact, let me pull those. There, that's what I'm talking about. I'll get those out, otherwise I will forget. And then for this, just a little bit of Fabri-Tac. So, as you can see, this is super quick. The most time really is going to go on gluing and drying your book pages and um, cutting out the die cuts. That's, that's where your time is going to be spent because putting them together is so quick. So, what I'm going to do is one evening um, when I'm down by the TV I'm going to just take my big shot my dies all my scrapping and I'm just gonna cut 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 and get that ready but you can see and then the little tuck spot will just hold a little notepad. Now what I did here, the, you've seen these done umpteen thousand times, so I'm not going to, well, I guess I could show you because somebody may not have seen those. <clears throat> Let me see, where's my scraps? Okay, so you get these off cuts when we're trimming down our pages for journals. And just going to cut that there fold fold that down and just put a little dab of glue under there Sorry, I'm trying to do this in a rush. And then fold fold that down. These are just tiny little envelopes. And you can glue these. Oh, I've cut that too long. I'm just going to take a little bit off of that. You can glue that closed if you want, but I like it to be left open because then it's a nice little notepad. So you see. And then all I did, I just took a tiny stamp just to add a little more interest to it. And it's that quick, guys. And isn't that sweet? So in your journal, you can just uh, imagine that. Now, to add the... Uh, da -da -da, paper clip. Sorry, I'm, I'm back on the caffeine, so I'm a little bit... Eh. All over the place and I apologize for that. Um, because I'd given it up uh, before I left but yeah when I was at at my dad's he he drinks regular coffee and I thought well I'm not gonna buy decaf just for myself so I got back on it and uh, so yeah, I'm a little bit hyped up today. Might have to go back to maybe half and half. I, I, I gotta have a little bit of it, but I think I just went too, too much, you know. Okay, shut up, Gina. All right, so how I'm gonna do this is take my fabric tag, just put a little smear of that around. And then <clears throat> slide that up under that paper clip, the little, you know, so that you got the long bit left so that you can use that. And then just attach that to the back and hold that in place until it until it's, you know, adhered. 
really that should have been done first if you're going to make it into an ultra paper clip it would make it a little bit easier before you get in all that bulk but it still works and then just sit that to the side and that'll sort itself out all right so that's a great way to use those book pages I'll be making a lot of these so let's sit that over and then I'm going to do one because this is one done with the craft paper so I'm not going to do that. I want to see how these are going to look with scrapbooking paper because my thinking on this is it would be really fun to put some more of the Edith Holden page. Let me see if I can get one. Ah, good. I've got some here because I thought her, the writing would be really, really pretty on that. Now this is a, <clears throat> a textured scrapbooking paper and I've just found that the Fabri-Tac is so much easier to work with on that because you can use regular glue but it just um, takes a lot longer and for time's sake I'm just going to carry on with this. I just pulled out some of Tracy's digitals. I think I think that might be nice. So I'm just gonna tear that. I do this. I do this with my digitals. I like to take them and because she has beautiful um, images. I like to just take them and do something different. I, st I don't want to cover all that wording but <clears throat> and just let me see how this is going to look once I get that on there I want to make sure I've got enough of the wording to show that yeah that'd be nice all right this one I'm going to do slightly different I'm going to put a little bit of cheesecloth behind that What else? What else? Let me put a little dab of glue there.
Okay, so let me get this on. I feel like it needs something, but, oh, I already know what it is. Okay, I gotta pull that up. Because when I do the nature ones, I'm kind of funny about that. I don't like, uh, bling with my nature so I sorry I'm just gonna pull that quickly because I know I want to stick some uh, do 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 give me a second guys my Irish linen thread I'm gonna just do So what I do is just take that and pinch it and just stick that in that. Uh, now I'm going to have to put a bit more of this on. It'll be worth it though. Yeah, I don't like a lot of, if it's nature, I'm not into mixing nature with the bling. Just a personal, personal preference for me. Okay, so I've got that down, and then I just kind of pull those pieces around. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I just realized something. That might interfere with that. Oh, well, it's fine with that little thing, but okay, <clears throat> so that's more of a nature and I like that. I, I like how that's come out. And then I would just tuck, tuck that little envelope there. Or you could, oh, that'd be cute like that in a journal. So there you go. All right, let me clear this so you guys can see. Boy, that did make an awful mess, but. I think it was worth it. These came out really, really sweet. Let me get a sheet of paper and I'll show you guys. So there you go. There's a close-up. <clears throat> got the scrapbooking paper, craft paper, book page, and then your offcuts from your digitals. Um, when they've been printed on cardstock, I should say that, because obviously if it was on paper, that'd be too thin. But there you go, guys. I think those have come out cute. You can see what I'm going to be doing today, because I've got my my book page is all ready. I'm just going to try to get some of these done and ready um, for some journals coming up. I'll um, give you a quick peek on what I've managed to get done so far. I've got this journal. These have got over uh, 200 pages in these, and they're not done, but... Um, because I've still got to do the front uh, and then inside now. Um, I've decided these are going to be my stash busting. Isn't that one gorgeous? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to part with this one because I've been saying I want to make myself one. Um, but that's what's in the works. Um, and then I've got three more of these. So I'm going to have a total of um, definitely four of these 
will be going in my shop in the next couple of weeks. That's all I'm going to say because I don't know how long it'll take me. But these are going to be fairly plain. There will be some pockets in it, but I'm not going to be em embellishing um, as much in these because I want these to go to um, to folks who want to um, add their own embellishments. Um, so I'm, I'm going to add some pockets and tuck spots, a few things like that, but they'll be fairly plain. So that's what's been going on. Um, I appreciate you guys stopping by today. I hope that you've been inspired to use up those book pages and uh, give this a try. And as I said, the only reason I'm recommending <clears throat> you need these little, unless you can figure out a way to make those, but I think that would be very fiddly to make them from yourself. But this is a great little die. I can see I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. So if you've got that die and want to give it a try, or if you want to just tweak it yourself um, and just leave that off, um, it's just another way for us to use up those book pages. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'll be back very soon with some more uh, projects. Take care. Bye.